morning everyone. Yesterday we were lucky enough um, to be given a mackerel from a fisherman. So we've got this beautiful bit of mackerel. Um, it didn't come directly to us, our friends from Wakanda. It was Carol who was busily chatting up the fisherman who was asking him where the best places to fish were, best times of day, because she's been doing a bit of fishing, not with much success so far. And asking for top tips resulted in two free fish, and they were really kind, um, lovely people, and they've given us this fresh fish. So this morning's breakfast is going to be scrambled eggs with fresh mackerel. So the mackerel has been rubbed in oil, salt and pepper put on, and popped in the oven. And um, that's in a loose foil parcel for about 10 minutes. Here we've got six eggs. I'm going to prepare them for scrambling. We definitely need some pepper in there. Oh, can't wait for this. Um, a bit of slight chilli salt. I know Alan likes a bit of something to liven his breakfast up. So that's what we'll have with that. Going to whisk that up. And then this is what we will flake the cooked mackerel into to make our scrambled eggs. Yes, it's going to be wonderful. Scrambled eggs on toast with flaked mackerel. In goes a splash of milk. That'll be lovely. This is about ready now. We just need to wait for the fish, which I can check in a minute. There we go. It's always a sort of struggle for space when you're in a kitchen, in a galley, on a boat. It's not like a big kitchen, sorry. Here it is. Have a check, see how that's doing. And um, on board, we need a thermometer so we can check that the food's cooked. Boat ovens are a bit quirky, so sometimes they cook evenly, sometimes they don't. So it can be a really good idea just to have something for checking. Okay, so we've still got a little way to go. Oh, that bit's quite hot. Not so much at that end, so I'm going to turn it round and pop it back in. There we go. Give it a little bit longer. I'm going to make sure that that fish is properly cooked. There we go. Okay, so I've taken it out of the oven, given it a bit longer. Oh yeah, that's cooked now and you can see a lot more of the juices are coming out. So I'm going to let that cool down a bit, ready to flake it, get all the bones out. Oh, starving! Okay guys, so I have managed to um, just pull the top part of the fillet off. I'm just going to gently coax the bone out. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Look at the lovely mash there. Just get rid of that. Yeah, looking great. So I'm just trying to just get rid of any bits of bone so that it makes it a more pleasant experience to eat. Always the tricky bit. Worth the effort. Okay, so I've got all that fish out now, all the bones, that's what's kind of left. And we've got a lovely bowl of flaked boneless mackerel. Now we can make the scrambled egg. There we go. Scrambled egg. Just added the mackerel that through. Oh, this is what you call breakfast from heaven. Lovely fresh mackerel from the fisherman. Straight out for breakfast. Yeah. 
Here we go. Delicious, lovely mackerel, fresh from the sea. Mm. Oh, that is so good. You can taste the sea. <laughs> Can't wait. Well, the wind's not giving up here in Newlin. Um, we've been in for a few days, so we've decided we're going to take ourselves off swimming. There's a, a Lido in Penzance which has got um, it's got fresh seawater, which is blinking cold. It's like 14 degrees. That's kind of hypothermia temperature. And then we've got a, a geothermal spa type arrangement, which is more like 30 degrees. So I'm going to leave you to guess which one we're going for. But um, I, I, yeah, I don't anticipate getting cold. So we're heading off. We're with our friends from Wakanda. Kerry is on the right. Carol is in the pink top at the front. This is the southwest coast path, and we're heading over here. Corner there is the light. Oh, we're going in the geos. We've arrived. We're here for the ten o'clock adult only swim session. Oh, this bit is the geothermal pool. I'll uncover it in a minute. But there are some hardy swimmers who are in the sea pool, sea temperatures. They are in wetsuits. Oh, look at this, yeah. the great unveiling. Yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> That's it. We haven't got a pool, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, it's what? Unless you count the little pirate shit that Lily uses yeah, to get in in the summer. Is, uh... The paddling pool. Oh, I'm excited now. Yeah. That's it. Let's, let's get in our swimwear. 82 degrees. <laughs> Okay. Well, the pool is absolutely fantastic. 32 degrees C today. It's like a bath in here. It's salt water and it's so easy to float. We're just floating around, exhausting ourselves with relaxation. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to Penzance. So, the other day, we walked past this open air pool, thought it was like normal sea temperature, and then our friends Tisha and Alan texted me and said, we're booking for a swim. Do you fancy coming? Brilliant. What they told us though was it was 30 degrees. I didn't tell Kerry this. When he came back from the loo, <laughs> I said, we're booked in for a swim on Friday. It was quite amusing watching his face. I'm thinking <laughs> ex-friends, maybe. <laughs> and, uh, and also, uh, you'll have a lovely time. Enjoy yourselves and I'll be in the bar. So, uh, no, it's absolutely freaking lovely. And it's, it's a th is it a thermi? Is it a, a... I think it's geothermal. Yeah, geothermal, geothermal I think, yeah. With water in here. Yeah. Um, so I'm standing up. Carol, of course, is about three foot off the ground. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, and uh, she still doesn't know there's actually a bottom to the pool. <laughs> so we're having a great time and it's lovely and uh, thank you guys for uh, suggesting it. Thank you for coming with us. <laughs> Here we are having a lovely well-earned breakfast sandwich, well some of us are, and a second coffee. <laughs> to warm up. Second breakfast. Second breakfast, doesn't be about right. <laughs> well, we've been in port for two days. It was blowing so hard that the water was coming over this breakwater in the marina, with big waves coming over. And you might be able to see in the distance that tonight, it's really the early evening, this boat's come in. So we've got the big border force boat. Let's hope they don't come over and do a, a customs check. And interestingly, if you don't know, that sort of lighthouse building on the end there, that's where we take our chart datum from in the UK. So all heights are measured from the chart datum that's measured in that building. Oh, there's Alan. He's coming back. What's he got here? Rocking my new handbag. Rocking your new handbag. What's in your new handbag? All the things that a girl needs. <gasps> Lobster! <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> oh, do we love living by the sea? <laughs> so excited. So excited. So excited. Cake. Uh, cake has arrived. It's coronation cake time. It's a Victoria sponge. And uh, my wife has made the butterfly wings out the top of it, but it's filled with uh, lovely buttered uh, cream icing and a bit of freshly uh, prepared strawberry jam. And on board Wakanda, we even have some posh plates. 
Oh, posh plate. And the plate. honour of being on Seagull, of course, we had to bring the posh plate with us because Alan insists. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to keep talking for another five minutes just to, watch, <laughs> just to watch Alan's face. The butterfly wings were made from real butterflies. Oh, <gasps> look at that! <laughs> <laughs> but if I, if I keep talking, you see, Alan just gets more and more hungry and eyeing up the cake waiting for, for his cake. We've been in Newlyn for a few days now. The weather has finally picked up. We've got some lovely sunshine and the winds are dying down. Um, the sea state around the Lizard is still quite lumpy, so we've decided what we're going to do is head out of Newlyn Harbour and back over to the anchorage by St Michael's Mount. We're going to have a night out there in this nice settled conditions and then tomorrow we're going to head around the Lizard and hopefully up the Helford River, which is a new port for us. So we're quite excited about that. Um, and we're still sailing in company with Reconda. Well, we're on our way. We've slipped our mooring. Alan's just enjoying the view from the deck. You can see St Michael's Mount in the distance. It's a little rolly coming across the bay. The swell's still a little in. But I don't think it'll bother us once we're tucked in. So it's pretty calm, as you can see. It's a nice day. We should have a nice relaxing afternoon. There is a cruise ship anchored out here somewhere. There it is, look. Just anchored out here tendering visitors in and out of shore. So we're now in. Alan's just keeping an eye on things. We've dropped the anchor. It was a bit rolly and swelly coming across. Um, we're just going to see how we sit, see whether we're happy. Um, Wakanda's just made her way in. She's looking to, to drop anchor. She's trying to find a good spot. Um, but now we've tucked in a bit, I think we might be OK. We're just going to see how we get on. Still a wonderful view. We're kind of changed position. It was a bit too rolly on the other side. So they've tucked in this side. It is a bit calmer. Um, we've decided to uh, sit it out, at least for a few hours. The swell is meant to die down. Um, the wind has definitely died down and changed direction. So if we're still unhappy later, we can always pop back into Newlyn. This is the skipper just testing if it's comfy in bed or not. And I have to say it is. And he says it is comfy as he drags himself out. I, I only got up because you didn't turn the blinking alarm off. <laughs> well, it's off now. I was ready to snooze. I am so sorry. The crew was busy putting the snubber on shocking. and turning the instruments I'm sorry, off. That is shocking crew behaviour. <laughs> No tea for you two. <laughs> I'm having lobster, you'll be asleep. <laughs> All right, if you're wondering why I'm squinting, it's because I've broken my glasses, so I can't see very well. Um, we're sat here, I don't know if you can tell from the footage, but it's a little bit rolly. It's not really improving, so we've decided, in order to enjoy our lobster for dinner tonight, that we're going to go back to Newlyn and sit on a nice, quiet berth. We're going to get a good night's sleep, and then tomorrow afternoon, hopefully, it will have settled down, as predicted, and we are going to head round the Lizard then instead. Goodbye, St Michael's Mount. We're off. You're far too roly. I think Alan's just making sure his heading is correct. It looks like it might be a bit chilly out there. <laughs> You've got cold wind face. It's a bit chilly. Definitely a bit roly. There's Wakanda. Trying to film one, try not to fall over. It's not the easiest thing. Here we are, back in Newland. Alan is down below. I think he's preparing dinner, or at least the start. He's got a pot. And he's filling it with hot water and some salt, and we're getting ready to have lobster for tea. Yay! I have to um, peep it if we... Uh... There we go. The lobster's been dispatched already. How am I going to get him in? That's the problem. He does go in, actually. It goes in quite well. Took his tail in and put the lid on. Here we go. Oh, here we go. The lobster's oh, cooked. It's difficult to lift. Look at that. Look at that change oh, of colour. Oh, look at that colour. Thing now. Oh, they're all steamed <laughs> up. The skipper can't see. Oh no, disaster! There we go. Beautiful. 
Alan's going to spend some time now getting the meat out of that while I make a posh macaroni and cheese. Well, the crab meat is all out. There it is. In here, we're preparing the milk, really, with all its delicious flavours. There's lots of lobster shell in there, onion, a bit of garlic. It's all infusing nicely. I'm just bringing it just up to the point of simmer and then we're going to leave that to cool and then I'm going to prepare the macaroni cheese sauce um, it will be using this milk when it's cooled a bit but there's a little bit of other things to do first we've already pre-cooked the pasta and uh, we're nearly there this is the lobster mac and cheese extravaganza it's still got to go in the oven but by god it smells good in here it's fantastic it's got a lemony zesty bread crummy top and it's almost like a bisque sauce with cheese in it it's all soaking up into the pasta oh my god it's gonna be so good and not forgetting the fresh lobster the full of fresh lobster fresh lobster right so excited goes. about this here it goes let's just get it in the oven here we go she's coming out of the was she <laughs> the lobster i'm not being cooked <laughs> the, the mac and cheese lobster dish has come out of the oven Ta-da! there it is it's the most complicated dish you've ever cooked on board we basically used every pot pan and trivet that we owned and there it is let's see what uh, let's see what it tastes like i'm sure it's going to be pretty bloody exciting oh, look oh at my that. god it looks so good I'm so excited Look at it! Oh, it's freshly made lobster mac and cheese. Oh my god, we are so hungry! This is the most ridiculous recipe you could possibly imagine. You better leave me somewhere. I'm gonna cry. Sorry, there's no more left. <laughs> you had your chance. <laughs> Cheers. This, I'm sure, it was going to be amazing. Oh, oh, it looks hot. Hang on. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. So rich. And you really can taste the lemony um, breadcrumbs on top. Comes through as a really nice sort of after flavour. It's got a slight crunch to it. And the sauce that was so runny when it went in has all been soaked up into the partially cooked pasta. Amazing. Oh, that was delicious. I could easily eat some more, but I don't think we should. Well, if you don't think we should, we won't, obviously, because, you know, we can have it another day. <clears throat> Although, I do wonder, just putting it out there, how well it'll reheat. Mm. It might be the kindest thing to do would to be just to eat it now. Eat it now. Yeah. I mean, there's really not that there's much there's left. There's hardly there? any. There's a, a, a sniff, really, nothing more. Okay, you win. We'll eat it now. Okay. okay. If you're sure. If, I'm only sure. If you're sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Duck him. <laughs> so, we are currently moored here in Newman, and today the aim of the game is to sail it across the bay here, around the Lizard Point, avoiding all this rough water. Then we are come this way. And make our way along the coast, curl round and we're heading into the Halford River. Never been before so we're quite looking forward to doing that.
We're just coming out of Newlin. Uh, we're doing about six and a half knots. We've um, we've got a full set of sails up. We've got a southwesterly four, basically on the beam. So it's a it's a pretty nice point of sail. Um, the swell seems to have calmed down a bit since yesterday, so it's it's a pretty comfortable day really. The um, the sun's out, which is always nice, and. Um, Tisha's saying we're living the dream, so, you know, what more could we want? This, today, is the most idyllic sailing conditions. Just to give you a sense of how fantastic it is, look at Wakanda cutting through the water. She looks amazing. This is champagne sailing. Just awesome conditions. Champagne, isn't it, babe? Champagne sailing conditions. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to be talking to you. We're going to hit a boy. <laughs> yeah, we better not do that. It's just, it's just something inevitable about that, isn't it? Just say something to the camera. Oh, OK, bang. <laughs> no, there's no boys. We're good. We're good. <laughs> We're getting quite close to the lizard now. Just a few miles to go, a few naughty miles. There's Wakanda looking fantastic. She's taking in her head sail. It's, uh, the angle of the wind is making it a little tricky for them to keep it out. Uh, we have a different setup on ours. We have a self-tacking jib, which means we can get away with a lot more. So we'll come around. There we go. You can see the lizard right in front of us now. And just off the bow to the starboard side, that's to the right. That is the lizard in Cornwall. As I said, only a few miles to go and we can come round that. Sea State's looking really calm today, so we're really pleased about that. We tried to pick a day when we get a smooth passage. Looks like we will. Here's us on passage. Feeling fantastic. The day is progressing so well. These days are just oh, special when they come along. I do love it. And it's always, always fun to sail in company. And we are sailing in company today. It's great, we can have chats on the radio. It's really fantastic to get footage of each other when you're sailing, because it's so difficult to get. So this is great, love it. We're just coming around the lizard. These rocks here, I think one is called um, Man of War, and the other one's called Lizard Point. Um, we were told in the almanac that uh, when you get, you got to, if you get to the lizard point, I'll try and speak in English. You get to lizard point three and a half hours after high water Dover, and it should be slack water. Well, this is exactly three and a half hours after high water Dover, and we've got two knots of tide width. So I'm not totally sure what we've done wrong, but um, it's not uncomfortable. But uh, we were expecting it to be a bit slacker than. We're nearly in. We're nearly into the Halford River. The Halford River is somewhere behind us over there. I hope Alan can see it at the distance. It's not just my big face on the no, screen. It's, your big face the it's always my big face and never anything else. <laughs> so behind us, we're heading in there. We're quite excited. Uh, we have never been to the Halford River, so this is a new port for us. 
It is an anchorage, um, or you can take a mooring boy, but we're hoping to anchor. Now we've got our trusty new Rockner anchor, we're very keen to do a lot more anchoring. So we're going to try and find ourselves a nice little nook to snug up in um, and spend a couple of nights at least in the Helford River. We're getting really excited about this one. Here's the entrance to the Helford River. Oh, it's looking so peaceful in here, no swell. I think we're going to be all right on this one, all tucked up. It's going to be very peaceful, I think. Here we are entering the Helford River. It's getting late now. It, uh, it's getting a bit cooler, even though the sun is still shining. But we're going to head up and there's a few more inns. We're going to try and pass through those and apparently there's an anchorage somewhere just on the other side. Oh, I could do with a nice warm up now. It's getting so chilly. We've arrived! It's fantastic. It's peaceful, it's calm, it's not rolly. We're surrounded by trees and hills and the sun is setting and it's just a beautiful evening. <laughs>